I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5. First alert storm team here with an update on tropical storm barrel. As of the 7 p.m. advisory on Friday, 65 mile per hour winds and a west northwest movement at 15 miles per hour. And you'll notice it's lost a lot of its structure. It's weakened considerably with all that land interaction over the Yucatan. It'll keep moving to the west and northwest by 1 p.m. Saturday, still weaker. It'll take some time to reorganize, but once it does, it moves into an area with less shear and very warm waters. You'll notice by 1 p.m. Sunday, 75 mile per hour winds back to a category one hurricane and it will likely make landfall over the Texas Gulf Coast into the afternoon on Monday with 90 mile per hour winds. Of course, could see some small changes with the exact track and the intensity, but overall looking more and more likely like a landfall over the Texas Gulf Coast. So preparations definitely need to be made in the southeastern coast of Texas. Well, it will quickly weaken as we go throughout the rest of the work week and you'll notice it down to a depression then eventually just an area of low pressure by the middle of next week. Impacts are going to be felt even in areas not included in this cone. This just shows you where the center of the storm will likely move and you'll notice it's favored in areas a little bit further north than yesterday. Yesterday it was a little further south in areas in northeastern portions of Mexico and far south southeastern portions of Texas. Now it's trended a little bit further to the north in areas between Corpus Christi and Houston. Of course, we could still see some small changes with this track, but overall it's trended a little bit further north. This is a look at the model trends of the center of the storm. Impacts will still be felt in areas like Houston and even western portions of Louisiana as well, mainly in the form of really heavy rainfall. But hurricane watches are issued for many portions of the southeastern coast of Texas. Again, the Texas Gulf Coast for South Padre Island, Poly Padre Island, and areas off to the north as well, just south of Houston, just west, southwest of Galveston, Texas. And also storm surge alerts are in place as well. The National Hurricane Center predicts about six feet of storm surge along many portions of the Texas Gulf Coast. So that'll be something to watch over the next few days. In addition to that, a lot of heavy rainfall. We could still see some small changes with this rainfall potential, but as of now, a lot of areas like Corpus Christi through Galveston, Texas, Houston, and areas to the north and east into parts of Arkansas and northwestern Louisiana could see some really, really heavy rainfall over the next several days. So something to watch as we go into next week, especially at coastal flooding here in our stretch of the Gulf Coast from coastal Mobile County to coastal Okaloosa County. We can see that into uh, the next couple of days. This is in effect till 1 a.m. on Sunday. And we also have a high risk of rip currents through the weekend. So make sure to be very careful if you plan to spend any time at our local beaches because that water will be rough this weekend. To find more information about evacuation zones here on our stretch of the Gulf Coast, even though we have no storms expected to impact us directly, again, you want to have that information and be prepared well ahead of any storm that could, could impact our area. So download the 2024 Hurricane Guide. You can scan that QR code, or you can just look up 2024 Hurricane Guide on WKRG.com. All the latest information throughout this hurricane season can be found on WKRG.com.